I had my T levels checked and that came in at approximately 300. So when I'm in the bedroom, all 300 of those suckers were concentrated in one place. And then of course the civilian doctor was like, dude, you're damn near a fucking female. For the last year or so, I've been on testosterone replacement therapy, all right? In this video, guys, I'm gonna share with you guys why I got on it and also how you, if you're dealing with some of the same issues that I was dealing with, can also get on this program. If this is your first time watching me, guys, my name is Jay, retired Army Green Beret, and the intent behind this channel is to share my knowledge and wisdom with the next generation, all right? So if you haven't done so already, like and subscribe to help me reach that goal. So approximately, 18 years, uh, probably 18 and a half into my career, I got removed from the operational side of team life in place in the admin side, right? So I went from running and gunning, you know, leading my team and all that jazz to now I'm sitting behind a desk doing the first sergeant job, right? The admin job. And that's the normal levels of progression, right? There's gonna be a point in your career when you're gonna be a doer running and gunning and all that jazz. Then you're gonna get to a point where you'll be supervising, right? And once I got to that point, it's like everything just came to, right? It's like operator fatigue, right? I've been going 100 miles an hour for so long, and now as soon as I'm removed from those positions, it's like my body just shut down, like everything caught up to me, right? And it was like, bam, I was tired all the time, right? I was taking naps during the day frequently. Um, hard to focus, right? I started losing, you know, muscle mass, right? Um, in the bedroom, my, yeah, my dick still work, right? I had my T levels checked and that came in at approximately 300. So when I'm in the bedroom, all 300 of those suckers were concentrated in one place, you know what I mean? Um, but once I got my levels checked, the doctors, you know, they, they, they said it was the norm, right? When it came to special forces operators, we've been operating at such a high up tempo, at such a high level to where once we're removed, our body takes a break and it, everything just comes crashing, right? Uh, so according to the Army, the 300 test levels were normal because the Army has a very wide range of how they define normal, right? 300 all the way up to like 1200, if you were within that, that span, the army considers that to be normal, right? Well, that wasn't normal for me, all right? Because I had young kids, I lived a very active lifestyle, and I wasn't about to fucking accept that answer. So I went off post, and I got a second opinion, right? And then, of course, the civilian doctor was like, dude, you're damn near a fucking female, right? Like, this is not the norm. For I was, you know, 39 at that time, you know what I mean? Um, so... I took their recommendations and then I went to TRICARE and I was like, hey, uh, I just got a you know consultation done. This is what they're telling me um, and I want to get on TRT, right? So TRICARE went through their process. They did that due diligence and they approved it. So I ended up getting approved for uh, 200 milligrams of testosterone sepunate every week. So every week I inject 200 uh, CCs. Now, they have other options. There's a cream, there's pallets that you can get put um, surgically implanted, you know, in your ass cheeks. But I didn't want to do any of that because since this is my first time, you know, starting something like this, I wanted to have, you know, control just in case I didn't like how I reacted to it or if it made me feel a certain way. So I wanted to um, retain control at all times. Um, and once I got on it, it's like everything just switched, right? My T levels went from 300 all the way up to last time I got it checked was, you know, 1100, crazy strong in the gym. Um, back to my active lifestyle, I got a shit ton of energy. I can do everything that I wanted to do and I feel the same as when I did uh, when I was, you know, 18, 19, and 20, right? And then, of course, every 10 weeks, I go into my doctor, they draw blood, and then they analyze my blood and make sure all my levels are where they need to be, right? So the last year or so, guys, that's what I've been on. Again, I feel amazing. And if you're getting ready to get out of the military, that is something that I encourage you to get checked, right? Because especially if you've done 20 years, you're not gonna be the same person that you were when you went in at the age of 18, 19. And on top of that, 
you know, by the age of 40, naturally testosterone levels start dropping in men anyways. Now, just imagine you're a soldier doing all these things at the highest level. Your test levels are going to be 10 times more affected than a regular man. With that knowledge, I encourage you, if you haven't done so already, to go to a clinic. Any, you know, testosterone replacement clinic has the ability to draw blood and also analyze your levels. All right. Uh, if you do it in the army, guys, like I said, their explanation and their tolerance level for normal is going to be different of that of a civilian doctor. Right. But uh, once you get it done through the civilian doctor, you can file it through TRICARE. And yes, they will cover it 100 percent. Right. You might have a copay here and there for your prescription. Like I pay 20 bucks every time I grab my uh, testosterone uh, prescription, but it's a small price to pay to feel like I'm fucking on top of the world all over again, right? Guys, I wanted to come on here and share this with you because I know it's something that affects every single one of us. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section below, guys. Until next time, take care of yourselves.